back to the third and final part of FFMC license in India. My name is Munisha and in this video we will be discussing about the operation of an FFMC. First of all, let's talk about the guidelines for bringing in or taking out of the foreign currency. There is no limit on the quantum of foreign currency brought into India if the same has been specified in the currency declaration form to the custom authorities. No declaration in the currency declaration form is required if the currency notes or the traveler checks does not exceed 10,000 US dollars or its equivalent or the value of the currency notes does not exceed 5,000 US dollars or its equivalent. In case of taking out of the foreign currency out of India, the same has to be under the special or general approval from the RBI unless and until it is purchased from the authorized dealer or money changers. Talking about the purchases of foreign currencies, so foreign currency notes, coins and traveler checks from the residents as well as non-residents can be freely purchased by the FFMCs as well as their franchisees. The FFMC shall always demand currency declaration form before executing such exchange of foreign currencies. Similarly, the Indian rupees may be sold to the foreigners against their international debit and credit cards and prompt steps must be taken for the reimbursement of those currency through normal banking channels. The certificate of encashment shall be issued in case of purchase of foreign currency notes, coins and traveler checks. Such certificate shall be issued on the letterhead of the foreign exchanger as well as the proper records of the same shall be maintained. Now coming to the reasons for the sale of foreign exchange to the person resident in India. So first reason may be private visits. The foreign exchange or currency notes, coins, traveler checks may be issued to a person resident in India for undertaking one or more private visits to a foreign country. Now coming to the reason for the sale of foreign exchange to the person resident in India. The first reason may be private visits. The foreign currency notes, coins or traveler checks may be issued to a person resident in India for undertaking one or more of the private visits under the prescribed ceiling which is currently 10,000 US dollars or its equivalent. The second category is business visits. The purpose for which the foreign exchange may be issued to the person resident in India for business visits may include all of the following. Undertaking business travel, for attending a conference or a specialized training, for maintenance expenses of a patient going abroad for medical treatment or checkup abroad, for accompanying as attendant to a patient going abroad for medical treatment or checkup up to the limits. The limits prescribed for this purpose is 25,000 US dollars. Now let's talk about the other conditions governing in and out of the foreign currencies. The RBI has not prescribed the documents which shall be verified by the money changes while releasing the foreign exchange. In case of issue of traveler checks, the same shall be signed in the presence of authorized officials. In case of release of foreign exchange for travel purposes, the declaration shall be given by the traveler regarding the amount of foreign exchange availed during the year. In case of sale of foreign exchange for traveling abroad, the cash of up to INR 50,000 rupees can be accepted by the FFMCs. In case the amount of sale exceeds 50,000 rupees, it must be received only by the way of crossed check drawn on the applicant's bank account or crossed check drawn on a bank account of the firm, company sponsoring the visit of the applicant or banker's check, pay order, demand drafts, etc. Cash Memo Cash memo shall be issued on the official letterhead of the money changer to the travellers to whom they have sold the foreign currencies. 
such cash memo shall be presented by those travellers to the immigration authorities while leaving the country. Coming to the rates of exchanges followed by FFMC, the exchange rate shall be determined by ongoing market conditions and all the transactions shall be put through the same. A chart indicating the rates of exchange for sale or purchase of the foreign currency shall be put at a prominent place or at a public counter for all the major currencies latest by the 10 am daily. Talking about the criteria governing the foreign exchange balances. So the balances of the foreign exchange shall always be maintained at a reasonable level and building up of the idle balances shall always be avoided. The foreign currency notes, coins and traveller cheques shall be surrendered by the franchisee to its franchisor within a period of 7 working days. No settlement between the authorised dealers and their franchisees be done in cash and can only be settled by the way of crossed cheques and demand drop. So how the replenishment of foreign exchange is done? The normal business requirement of the foreign currency note shall be obtained from other authorised money changes against rupee. Uh, through account pay checks or demand drafts. An application shall be made to the Foreign Exchange Department of Reserve Bank of India for permission to import the foreign exchange if the replenishment is not done through above. The import shall be made effective through an authorized dealer category 1 bank through which the application is made. Now what should be done for to write off the fake foreign currency notes? Now in the normal course of business, if it is found that the notes purchased from the foreigners or residents are fake, then they may be uh, written off up to a value of 2000 US dollars after taking prior approval from the top management of FFMC and after applying all the other measures to recover that amount. Now there are certain registers and books of accounts necessarily to be maintained by the FFMCs. Let's take a look upon the same. Daily summary and balance book shall be maintained in form FLM1. Daily summary and balance book for traveller checks shall be maintained in FM FLM2. Register of purchases of foreign currency in FLM3. Register of purchase of foreign currency notes from authorised dealers in FLM4. Register of sale of foreign currency notes and foreign currency traveller checks to the public shall be done in FLM 5. Register of sale of foreign currency notes or coins to authorised dealers or full-fledged money changers or overseas banks shall be done in FLM 6. Registers of traveller checks surrendered to the authorised dealers authorised money changers exported in form number FLM 7. The above document shall be kept up to date, cross checks and balances shall be verified on daily basis. Lastly, talking about the submission of returns to the RBI by the FFMC. So a monthly consolidation of all the sale and purchases of foreign currency notes, coins and traveller checks shall be presented in the form FLM8 and shall be submitted to the concerned regional department of RBI not later than 10th of the succeeding month. So that's all for the operation of an FFMC in India. Hope you have liked this video. So do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned to Swarit Advisors. Thank you.